you know there's a kid in there with a gun? Yeah, come on. You gotta listen to me, okay? We can stop this without anybody getting hurt. And all you have to do is put down that gun, okay? Put down that gun and you come with me. They're waiting for me. The police. It's okay, Denzel. I don't wanna hurt you. They're here to make sure nobody gets hurt, including you. scared. I promise you that this is nearly over. Okay? I'm gonna take that gun and then it's not your problem anymore. Huh? And it'll all be over. Right? We can tell the police your side. We can tell them what's really going on. Ah! <sighs> all right, Tensel. You can keep the gun. Just come with me, please. Save everybody. I can try. I don't want you to think for one second that you've destroyed us, Ralph, or the heart of this school, because while you're in a prison cell, we're going to be building a future for this community. Someone got there before me. Everyone, nobody was hurt. That's the important thing. Waterloo Road won this. Are you blind? There is no Waterloo Road. Now. Yes, there is a Waterloo Road. There always will be. Yeah, haven't we proved to ourselves this school is not just a building? It's us. It's all of you lot. Fantastic kids, dedicated scarf. And it's me. It's this head teacher. Waterloo Road. Waterloo Road. Waterloo Road. Waterloo Road.
There you go. It's lovely, Dad. And check this fridge out over here. Anyone you like. And then get yourself a big slice of that birthday cake. Who's that? You stay there. Uh, hello. Can I help you? Mr. Vale. Miss Mason. Hi, Bianca. I'm Bianca's head teacher, and I just wanted to check that she's okay. Well, now you've checked. Bianca's fine, thanks. Uh, Mr. Vale, you shouldn't have taken her. Um, miss, it's my birthday. Uh, Dad was just giving me a surprise. Okay. But you, Dad also knows that we need to tell people where you are. I'm afraid the police have been informed, Mr. Vell, you're in violation of your contact agreement. Please, Miss, don't get him in trouble. We just want to see each other. The police have got no right to keep him away from us. Miss Mason knows that her father shouldn't be banned from seeing his own flesh and blood. Isn't that right, Miss Mason? I don't make the law, Mr. Vell. No, you don't make the law. Wasn't her who got us separated, was it? That was your mum. Look, why don't I call you, Mum? Tell her where you are. She might be perfectly happy if she can come and supervise here. Mum will just spoil things, won't she? I think Dad angry like she always does. Go and settle down in your bunk, B. Go on, you've got your own TV in there. I just want to say cheerio to Miss Mason. This isn't helping anyone, Mr. Vale. Gary. Time to stop. You got a husband? No. I didn't think so. All that yakking you do. I do understand how frustrating this is for you. You must realise it's not the way to do things. I know what's best for my family. She's my daughter. I do what I want with her. But you can't keep dragging it out like this. The police are looking for us. The best thing we can do now is take her back to school. Back to her mum, you mean? I don't think so. Bianca's seen the last of her. What do you mean? She'll live the rest of her life regretting the day she ever turned her back on me. She'll learn that she can't just replace me. Now, why don't you get back in your car and drive off? Because I am not leaving without her, Mr. Vale. Dad? Go back inside, love. Have another piece of cake. Go on, it's your favourite. Miss Mason's just leaving. Stay, Bianca. Well, that cake is a birthday treat. Now you've ruined it. You've ruined my daughter's special hey, day. She hasn't, Dad. <sighs> Come on, let's go back inside. We can have a party still. Leave, Miss Mason. Miss, you're getting him angry. You know what? If you're so intent on having a birthday party, why don't you invite me? Hmm? We'll be fine. I think you should go. Well, no, because I really fancy a cup of tea and a piece of cake, and I don't think it's going to be a problem, is it? So come on, show me what you got. Come on. Could I have another little bit, Bianca? If you want. All right, Dad says it's delicious. Here. Let me. And then maybe after, you can leave us in peace. Right. Well, Bianca, why don't you show me what presents you got? Mm, let's have a look. Haven't you got a school to run or something? Miss, I think you should go now. I'll come in school tomorrow and I'll work extra, extra hard. <laughs> There. You heard her. Look, Miss Mason. I know that I flattered the rules a little bit, but just give us today, and tomorrow I'll drive her back into school and I'll sort it all out with her mum. Okay? We should show you Waterloo Road properly sometime, Gary. Show you all the, the great work that Bianca's done last time. My children mean everything to me. Well, they're doing so well at school. They're an absolute pleasure to teach. I've always told them. They can achieve anything if they put their minds to it. Mm. You've been as good as you were. Gary. Why don't we take her back? Why don't we? And I'm sure that we can work something out for you. Maybe we should, Dad. Want to spoil this special party? I didn't mean that. 
You know, why Why would you bring her here for a special party in the middle of nowhere? So no family or friends. Why are you doing that, Gary? Well, I think we've just heard about enough from you. Get out! Stop it! Just think about just it! Just get out! I want to go home. Back inside, princess. Go on. Worst birthday I've ever had. Shush, love. Just calm down, will you? Bianca, get out! Hey. Ah. Run! Ah. I'm sorry, princess. This is the police! Bianca! Hey! This is Dale! This is Dale! Come back! <laughs> Gary! I am gonna flame and kill you! Make him stop, please! Make him stop! Look. Gary! Get off! Gary! Mr. Bale! Can you come out and talk to us? Go away! Stop it! You're scaring me! We're going nowhere! And you're going to jail! You're you to leave now. Go away. I told you. I told you a dozen times. No, get uh, Dad! Come on. But did you listen? No, can you come Dad! out and go? Tell me what you're doing, please. Come on, Gary. Just let her go. She's your daughter, please. This is all down to you. He's going to come. We just need a few seconds. This is his wedding. I can't actually believe this is happening. Oh, okay. Um, I think that we need to go. I'm awfully sorry. I don't actually think he's going to turn up. Should we call it a day? Sorry. I, uh... Told you. Wow. Okay. It is now. Are you okay? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Adam Benjamin Fleet, may not be joined in matrimony to Rachel Mason. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I do take thee. Rachel Mason, do you take Adam Benjamin Fleet to be your lawful wedded husband? Yes. I do. I, do. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. And the sharing of our lives together. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we didn't have to come here, you know. I know, but it means a lot to you. And after today, I just wanted to show you that I understand that. It's one of the things I love about you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Looks like you made a really, 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 really good choice of husband. <laughs> yeah. I am sorry that, um, that you feel you come second to this place. Yeah, I'm a big boy. I can live with that. Mm. Yeah, but is it a good start to a marriage? Mm, I don't... At the moment, 
You do have to share me with my job. I mean, that's you. That's who you are. That's not going to change. You might be surprised. Look, I'm sure there's something in our vows about not lying. It's only been a couple of hours. <laughs> I've just really been thinking about what you said. And you were right. I don't want you to have to share me with anything else at all. I want it to be just the two of us. So, I'm going to ditch the third party. What? This place. It's been everything to me. And I guess I'd convinced myself that it couldn't function without me. But, you know, I've been proved wrong today. And I've got you. You're going to leave? I am. You're joking. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do, you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I thought, you know, let's just go on a honeymoon and then not come back. How long? How long? A year? Fancy. Why, Mrs. Fleet, I'd follow you to the very ends of the earth. <laughs> 